I was always, I'm always been an art history fanatic and um, maybe paid more attention to that in art school than I really did painting in some ways. It's just I was really into art history. So there's certain um, artists that I really admired and really wanted to play with, and that was uh, mostly Marcel Duchamp. The pop guys that were starting to make things with things, you know, found objects. That became more important to me was this process of um, doing very little with paint to, uh, you know, create three-dimensional illusion or create figurative stuff. It was more like, how do these objects go together? What do they? What does the audience bring to them? You know, I think that's where Duchamp, Marcel Duchamp, was so important to me because he came up with this idea. What did he call it? The art coefficient, where it was like, you know, you, you put together the artist puts in whatever they want in there. It can be personal, it can be art historical, whatever. But it's not until a viewer comes that there's almost like a mathematical equation that happens, right? And the viewer brings whatever they want to it. Uh, but it was important to me to try to find a way to make something that's attractive enough to somebody viewing it that they're going to at least get sucked in and absorbed. And then that equation happens, that that interchange. What I used to call it, it hums. Like if it starts to hum visually and looks good that way, then I know that's, that's a keeper because somebody's going to feel the same thing. And that really intrigued me. And it's still probably the primary reason I, I want to make art, you know, it's just to, to explore that equation more.